welcome to Sculpture Studios. Today you're joining us for a really good polystyrene carving video. Um, it's the kind of work that Aidan loves taking on best. What we're going to be doing is creating these two giant Hulk hands, standing at about 2.8 meters tall. It's a relatively tight deadline for this, uh, mainly because Aidan's going away on holiday in a couple of weeks. So what he's hoping to do is get everything blocked out, hot wire cut, carve everything by hand, get all of the master carving done of both the left and the right hand, and you're then gonna leave it up to us when he goes away to finish everything, sand it down, plaster filler, and then an emulsion paint in green. Um, it's a relatively straightforward job in terms of no glass fiber, resins, mold making, metal work, anything like that. So it's the kind of work that we really love coming into the studio. It's just a great bit of carving for Aiden. There you go, the seagulls. And um, it's a great bit of carving for Aiden and the kind of job that we love putting on the channel because we find that people enjoy the polystyrene carving. Um, this is how the project starts with our eight by four by two foot bullets of polystyrene. What we're gonna be doing is gridding up a thin slice of this so we can get a, a general outline, hot wire cut from either side, and uh, then hopefully, with a bit of movie magic, uh, you'll see Aiden bring these blocks to life um, into these two giant hands. Thank you very much for joining us, everyone. Smash it. With this project being almost purely a polystyrene carving job, there's only so much that needs to be said. We grid up onto the large billets, cut the bulk of the main forms using hot wires, and then we go to town with nail brushes, wire brushes, stonemason rifflers and sandpapers. We've been sent a sample of the actual fist, and this way we can take front and side on reference shots so that we can grid this up and flip the image for the other hand. Polystyrene carving is always what Aidan loves doing best in the studio, but unfortunately he's actually going away on a little vacation in a couple of weeks. And don't get me wrong, when a project like this rolls in, his vacations are just as much a burden as they are a break. So with his holiday in mind, to ensure that he could accomplish as much as possible before he goes away, he's calling in Chris for some freelance carving assistance. Chris is going to be directly referring to the physical model, and Aidan's going to be replicating not only the model in reverse, but also what Chris is carving in reverse. We know that some of you love the carving process just as much as Aidan, so I'll catch up with you a little later in the project. Day two of carving. Well, you're really, uh, really punching your way through there, isn't you, Aidan? Yeah. Um, the trouble is, don't keep disturbing me because you wouldn't like me when I'm angry. Oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> you know what it must be? It must be, uh, must be a good wrist action, Chris. That's what it is. Well, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to knuckle down, really. <laughs> got, got a good grasp of the situation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're seasoned professionals, but sometimes we act as if we're green, don't we? Stupid. Oh, <laughs> scraping the bottom of this gag barrel now, Christ. Here we are, boys. Day three. Looks like uh, you've got a firm grasp of the situation. I don't know if I said that one already, but you know. Punching above the weight there, eh? <laughs> Thank you very much indeed. Um, this here, we haven't actually got 
a proper image of this. I think this was designed for a glass so you can have a drink. So we're going to have to make this area up here uh, and make it just look chunky and bold as, as much as you can because there's no real reference in there. I don't think anybody's going to compare the one against the other and they're standing 12 foot tall so quite big. Not only are two hands a little bit different to each other anyway, but um, I think the main thing is they, they're looking of the same ilk as each other. Um, so we're just using a couple of references of a hand, this section here, um, just so we kind of follow the right sort of pattern. But um, as Ethan said, there's a section missing, so a little bit of artistic license from both our artists here. And if you look under there, this is quite a spongy, there's no real detail. So we're going quite deep under there just to create a nice shadow line as well. And it's for our own benefits as sculptors, but just to make the hand look a bit nice.
Mr. Aidan Hines applying the finishing touches. How are we, uh, how are we feeling about the Hulk fists? Uh, yeah, they're getting there. What do you mean they're getting there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're, 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 they're finished, aren't they? Well, not necessarily. If they can give me another week, I'll probably spend another week on it. But um, probably not good business, but good artist. That's it. I mean, I think they look rather decent and uh, we'll let our general YouTube public make a decision for themselves, but as an artist, of course, he can keep tinkering and uh, is anything ever quite finished? Is anything ever quite there? But, um, but these are looking really good as far as we're concerned and as far as the client's concerned, which at the end of the day is our priority. These seam lines here are going to be left exactly as you see them. What we were going to originally do is provide the client with a touch-up kit of uh, not only emulsion paints but a water-based plaster filler so when these are moved onto the location they can be placed on top of one another pinned and then the seam lines can all be made up but as we've now shown the client a lot of the artwork that we've done and they said they're happy for it to continue all the way down as it really brings out the depth and the uh, the 3d-ness of the sculpt um, they're quite happy to leave these seam lines exactly as they are make no excuses for them and that way it saves any kind of touching up trying to blend and re-artwork everything on site so then essentially at the end of the weekend break everything through the same lines to move out of the location again as they may be either donating or selling these to a, another company to set up elsewhere so these are going to be left exactly as you see here for ease of transportation and handling it's still quite an impressive piece all round anyway at the end of the day our clients feedback and reaction is what we're after and as long as we've got a happy client then we're happy to go in whatever route they'd like us to go down here we have the boutique whitening logo and signage hand applied by myself and Aidan via a stencil this afternoon which I think looks quite neat from a distance anyway and even up close I feel like we've done a pretty decent and pretty neat job if we were to have this created in a vinyl, it simply wouldn't adhere to the surface as this is only a polystyrene and plaster and emulsion render and the fact that it's going onto a 3D surface means the vinyl wouldn't have liked sticking to anything anyway. Got the two lower sections on top of each other with sheets of poly between. There's the other two upper fist sections, blankets over them, strapped down just to stop them rattling around but not too tight and we're just printing off some piece of paper that uh, tell people not to damage the corners. The box of touch-up paints is included in there. That's everything loaded on the line. With everything loaded and ready to go, it's off up to Manchester for the North of England Dentistry Show. We've always thought that 3D advertising is a great way to draw attention, and what easier way than to say look out for the two giant Hulk hands to come and find us at the exhibition. We'd like to thank Chris for his fantastic expertise with the polystyrene carving once again, and to Sean Cashman from Oaks Exhibitions for coming to us with the project. A big thank you must go to Boutique Whitening for, frankly, an incredible project that is right up our street. Big, bold and a little Bruce Banner in this case, we really hope they serve you well. We always love hearing what you guys at home think of our projects and our channel, so please feel free to drop a comment below and by all means subscribe and give us a follow on social media. A big thank you to all of our patrons who support our projects and the creation of our videos, we love having you guys on board. And if you'd like to support our family run studio, you can find our Patreon details below. However big or small, it's greatly appreciated from all of us here at Sculpture Studios. Thank you very much for watching.